Hey, it's Christopher, AKA the Bronze Age Nerd here. So you guys have been requesting some videos where I sort of talk about my collection, talk about how I store things, things along those lines. So I've decided to start doing a series of videos. This is gonna be the first entry in that series. And in this one, you're gonna take a look at basically how I physically store my actual boxes of comic books. So this is gonna be the first installment in that series. Essentially, this is gonna be how I lay out and store my physical comic books. Obviously, that's gonna vary a lot depending on how your space is uh, set up, but this kind of gives you an idea of basically where I have my comic books. So as I talk about things further on in this series, you'll understand how it's all set up. On top of that, it's it serves as a little bit of a behind the scenes tour for how I have, you know, maybe my recording space here set up, that kind of stuff. People are interested in that as well. So I'll give you guys a little peek behind the curtain. In a future installment, we'll talk about actual comic book storage inside things like bags and boards, grading versus not grading. Those types of things will be discussed in future videos. And then once we get past all that, I'll actually start showing off bits of my collection because that is one of the number one requests I've had for content on the channel recently. So I'm going to make sure to deliver that for you guys. All right, take it away past bronze. Let's check out the collection at the Bronze Cave. What's up, it's Christopher, AKA the Bronze Age Nerd. Welcome to another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. People keep asking me to kind of show off my collection, kind of give you a peek behind the bronze curtain, if you will. I like that. That might be the title of this video. Uh, so I'm up here in my bedroom uh, where I've mostly denertified things a little bit at the request of my wonderful wife. I think that's a really reasonable request. She wanted the bedroom to be more of a more of an adult space. There's still some some vestiges of nerd stuff up here. You know, my Halo Mega Blocks. You know, the Razor Crest and all that stuff up here. Um, a little bit of comic books in the corner here. I'll kind of show you what I have going on. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I have. Okay. So first up, this is right outside my bedroom door. Um, most of my A through our comic books are up here, but this is kind of the the spillover. Um, obviously got some comic supplies here. This is a magazine box with some of my magazines. I'll open this up in a second. This is an empty box that I keep for organizing comic books, that kind of stuff, like when new orders come in or if I want to pick and pull stuff. And then I have numbers to start here and ASM starts there kind of. Uh, let me open these up and I'll show you real fast. All right, so in this magazine box, I have my magazines. Um, Stuff that doesn't fit in normal bags, you know, Last Ronin, Harleen, that kind of stuff. Um, I also have some, you know, like Wizard Magazine, just a couple of those. I also have my Silver Age books up here. Um, I don't have a ton of Silver Age books. Oh, there's also some stuff that just is oversized or whatever, but, you know, Fantastic Four, X-Men, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's Silver Age and... Oh yeah, Comic Barricade, too. Holding down the fort, you know, Aquaman, you know, ASM Avengers, that kind of stuff. And then I go in my closet here. And this is where I keep everything that's uh, after, like that's the, this first box has some ASM in it. Um, yeah, ASM. And then most of them are in these BCW drawer houses, uh, all the way down. People will want me to pull up in like a random box. Uh, so let's see. G.I. Joe, Gambit, Geiger, random stuff. Um, yeah, that's the beginning of G.I. Joe. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's one of those three packs, value packs, sealed G.I. Joe 2 in it. You guys remember when G.I. Joe 2 was impossible to find? <laughs> but yeah, that goes all the way down. Just to give you kind of a more full shot of that. Uh, I need one more drawer box right here. I use some cardboard to kind of reinforce since they're not... Like you have these boxes sitting on top of each other. They put a lot of weight down on the bottom ones without the drawer boxes. So I put some cardboard down to reinforce that. I need some more. Even the ones on top should kind of be in those. Um, got a little light here. That's kind of cool. This helps. Doesn't seem like it on film, but like it, you know, pivots, gets you a little bit more in there. And then I have some storage up here. Also, you know, got the painter's tape, label maker, top loaders, uh, Marvel cards, Age of Apocalypse, Marvel Legends, basically. Um, Stan Lee figure from Marvel Legends. This is a comic folio in, in uh, magazine size that I used to, you know, grab comics on the go. Extra BCW dividers, that kind of stuff. Uh, tall boards um, that I use for dividers and stuff. Just kind of some random junk. I also have an extra little LED 
lamp here and an LED motion sensor. And I just have those in my closet mostly, but this is my side of the closet. Um, and it's pretty much just for comic books. And yeah, there we go. All right, so I know people, they're gonna be like, hey, you just said you use your closet for comic books. Um, there's also a dresser over here that I keep most of my clothes in. And I hang up some of my shirts in my daughter's closet. She doesn't really, you know, her clothes are a lot smaller. <laughs> so she doesn't really need that space for now. So that's kind of what I have going on with that. Basically, um, numbers, you know, nom, um, 2099 through R is kind of what's in that closet. All right, and here I am downstairs. This is in my dining room, which is my recording space. Some of this probably looks familiar back here. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what we have going on. So this is the background that you guys see. You probably can see some of the stuff a little bit more clearly on this phone camera than you could otherwise, but this is what's been in the background. Uh, you know, got the HasLab Sentinel here, holding down the fort, little, little display the few collection of pops that I have, the Baroness, that's pretty cool. Um, so this section right here, this is, um, obviously so those are CGC shipping boxes. This one, this one and this one are full of slabs. Um, this one I kind of just have as a staging thing right now. Um, it's kind of, you know, this is empty bags and boards that I use for rebagging and reboarding. Uh, some comics, I'm, some signed comics I have for a future project I'm using, stuff like that, nothing special. Uh, this box, it's kind of cool, this is like the X-23 knockoff box. This is the stuff I currently have for sale. And then, I wish I had more of these, but I have four of the graded bins for the rest of my slabs. So, you know, those for slabs, basically, those, those three, and then those are slabs, too. But yeah, it might be kind of cool to get kind of a different shot of, of way I'm going up there. A lot of people don't see this either, but that's G.I. Joe retro cards that I have up there, uh, kind of going above the walkway. And then this is the slab wall you see in most of my videos. Won that from CGC, that's really cool. Uh, Origin of Tigra, uh, yeah, Spider-Woman number one, uh, Jamie Tyndall, Frank Cho print. Uh, Frank Cho signed that. There's some Frank show up there as well. That's pretty cool. And then, so this is my dining room, which is kind of doubles actually as my, my pantry. Uh, so I got a printer on top of a microwave here. Got my coffee maker, uh, a pantry cabinet right here. But anyways, this is kind of where my stuff starts. Picked that up recently. That's pretty cool. It's Peyton, Archie, and Eli Manning signed. A uh, little photo I had for him there. Uh, my, my Marvel calendar. I have some figures up here. G.I. Joe, kind of Marvel heroes. Fantastic Four themed stuff. A little Marvel sign I got for Christmas a while back. You might remember that Thor poster from, from my old previews. And then this is my recording session or studio kind of area. There's that microwave. <laughs> um, so this is it. Yeah, that's what this is where I record my microphone, my light, um, the lava lamp people saw in my whatnot backgrounds. A little look behind the curtain there. Don't let the monitor fool you. It's a nice widescreen monitor, but it's a terrible, crappy old computer it's connected to, but it's nice for editing. Uh, that's the filing cabinet. I got some magnets on the side. I'll show you those real fast. Here's what I have on top. Got the Slave One, John Elway, Go Broncos, uh, Lego Star Destroyer. Yeah, that's how you know you, you're in the comics biz. You have the tape dispenser there. And then this is my filing cabinet that I got. Some magnets on it. Um, if you're wondering why I store comic books in a filing cabinet, that's why. A lot of books. Picks the filing cabinet up for free. Um, it starts, you know, I mentioned that it was through R at top. This starts at S. You know, you got Sandman, uh, Spider Woman, Star Wars. There's Star Wars number one right there. And then, yeah, so pretty secure. It's a Han, so it's nice and sturdy. Um, the the tabs mostly fit. You know, have everything kind of lean back. You know, uh, Supergirl, Superman. Uh, don't let that confuse you. I don't have a ton of Superman comic books. It just goes right into T there. Um, and then Uncanny starts right here. Uh, except for my Silver Age stuff, which is all upstairs. But, you know, hey, there's another, another nice book, right? <laughs> so, yeah, we'll show off all that stuff in the Uncanny. But I've got four drawers here. It goes, you know, S through all the way down to Z. Uh, Wonder Man action, the, the regular X-Men series, and then yeah, all the way back to Z.
yeah, so people had asked for that. I'm not sure how cool it is to see it in reality, but there you go. That's kind of the behind the scenes, the recording space. My living room is right over here. My kitchen's right over there. It's a tiny kitchen. Um, it's why I don't record or go live whenever I want. Uh, my daughter is with my, my parents right now, but normally she's running around. I don't want her on camera. Uh, my wife, you know, she wants her privacy as well. If I record, sometimes that TV gets in the background and licensed stuff's playing and I can't show that. And it's just a whole nine yards. So, uh, but yeah, that's the comic side of things. I'm going to show off the X-Men collection, some other videos too, because people are asking about that and we'll kind of get into that a little bit, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. Thanks for watching. And remember until next time, Hey, 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 read comics every day.